Hi, I've been playing around with KiCad 5. The version that I've got here uh, is the release candidate, I believe, and after reading a few articles, I think that KiCad 5 will be released later this month, or at least its features will be frozen, and then the actual release for the first version, like 5.0, will follow very soon. Uh, I read somewhere that 5.0 will be out sometime in August. So that is awesome. Uh, I've been playing around with the release candidate version that I downloaded from the KiCad website and I've installed it on my Windows virtual machine and on my Mac and I've got to say that they work really well. In this example here, I imported a uh, project that I'm working on is part of the projects from my new book and of course I created this a uh, few weeks ago on KiCad 4.0.7 I was able to import it actually not import it just open the project and uh, it works just fine there was a, a process to match the schematic components from KiCad 4 to KiCad 5 but I didn't actually have to do anything I just accepted whatever matches KiCad 5 uh, determined that were appropriate and uh, the schematic comes out exactly as I drew it. So a couple of little things that uh, I'd like to show you as I'm, I've been playing around. I haven't looked at any documentation. I've just been clicking around and seeing what's new. So a couple of really nice things. For example, you can use this tool up here, the Highlight Net and click on various nets and you can see where those nets take you. Oops, I've, I've got to just um, improve the way that my scroll wheel works with zoom. But it's okay, so even like this, it's much, much better than what KiCad 4 used to be like on my Mac. So anyway, you can see that this particular net goes across the various parts of the schematic like that and just click on another net and see where the nets go. Actually, you need to click on the junctions like that. Because if you click on the track itself, it doesn't work. So it's got to be on the junction. So that's a really nice trick. Now on the PCB new, uh, another interesting thing you can do is, <laughs> let's say, got a similar feature where I'm going to click on highlight net and click on say one of those and it will show you where that net goes around your schematic and this is really nice as you are working in more complicated projects to be able to see where the various tracks are going. Another interesting thing just hit escape to get out of this feature. Another interesting thing is that there is a connection between the PCB new and E schema and the connection is live. So let's see if I can activate it. Uh, what I want to do is to click on a tab. Oh, there you go, it worked. Actually, I haven't got any specific feature connected. It just works automatically. So let's say that I'm going to click on this resistor. Actually, I'll click on another component, this LCD connector. And there you go, see. I clicked on the LCD connector on PCB new, and then uh, EE schema updated its L panned automatically and it showed me where the connector or the component that I clicked on is and I believe that that works uh, vice versa so I'm going to move the uh, foot uh, I'm going to move the um, layout outside the view and then I'm going to go on to EE schema and let's say I'll connect on this resistor we map across maybe not Hang on, let's try this again Okay, I just uh, selected the pointer and, oh yes it did, <laughs> there you go. So I clicked on the resistor, uh, EE schema asked me to select which item is it that I want to uh, click on. So I'll go for 
the resistor and then it updated PCB new uh, the layout pan, uh, panned so that I can so they focused on the uh, component that I clicked on I'm going to do this one more time so I'm going to click on the diode now or the LED there you go yeah <laughs> he did this is pretty awesome I really like that and let's do one more the DHT yeah it did work it's great another thing uh, that is interesting is that I haven't tested it yet but apparently KiCad 5 allows you to import Eagle uh, schematics or Eagle projects so both schematics and layouts which is another very good feature um, the a lot of uh, the functionality or actually I'd say at this point most of the functionality that I can see here is uh, very familiar to me from four from Eagle for, for, sorry from uh, CAGAT 4 so it won't be any problem uh, moving from three to four everything just works and I, I feel very familiar with the user interface uh, and there are some improvements when it comes to things such as the uh, library editors so let's go into PCB new and you can manage your library editors with a familiar user interface but it seems like this is working better than before and the libraries editor and manager for both PCB new and I'll show you EE schema uh, so they look very similar so that's another good thing uh, what else uh, I really like this little tool down here it allows you to measure <laughs> distances uh, it's really nice and intuitive great work all right so I'm going to keep uh, playing around with KiCad 4 I think I'm going to continue using this to work on the book and uh, construct the book projects uh, because it does feel very stable uh, on Windows it also works perfectly I didn't find any uh, flaws and bugs in the short amount of time that I've been playing with but I am testing this version with uh, Linux as well in particular Ubuntu and uh, I'll see if I can find any problems there but uh, I really like what the KiCad programmers have done awesome work